The next question says, classify the given function as a polynomial function, a rational function, or a root function. Then find the domain. Write the domain in interval notation. So our function is f of x equals 4x cubed minus 3x. So we want to decide whether this function is a root function, a rational function, or a polynomial function. So let's go through each category just briefly. A root function, or sometimes called a radical function, will have a radical in the equation. So it'll have like a square root or a cube root. A rational function is a function where you would have a fraction, and that fraction would have a variable in the denominator. And then finally, a polynomial function Polynomial functions don't have radicals or fractions. Well, they have they might have a fraction in the coefficient, but you wouldn't have a variable in the denominator. And the powers on uh, the variables are going to be whole number powers. So for this example, looking at it, I don't see any radicals and I don't see any fractions. So I'm looking at the powers on x, and I've got a power of 3 on this one and a power of 1 on this one, and those are both whole numbers. So I would classify this as a polynomial. And then once we decide that it's a polynomial function, we want to answer the second part, which is what is the domain of this function? So all polynomials will have a domain of all real numbers. So we don't really need to do any calculation on this one. It's more of a memorization thing. Once you know you have a polynomial function, you know that any value of x can be substituted in. And we write that the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. That is saying that all values of x, all values of x can be substituted into this function from negative infinity to infinity.